We began with overnight updates from Hurricane Milton, which made landfall in Florida last night as a Category 3 storm. We do have some new video this morning out of Fort Pierce, Florida, showing just one of the many tornadoes that has caused damage in the area as the storm came in. Now, earlier this morning, we did hear from Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, who said that the National Weather Service has not had a chance to confirm the, some of the tornadoes that different spotters spotted around the Florida area. But Hurricane Milton had maximum sustained winds of 120 miles per hour once it hit the coast. The Hurricane Center says that Milton is forecasted to, quote, maintain hurricane intensity while it moves northeast across the Florida Peninsula before emerging off of Florida's east coast sometime today. Now, Floridians who did not ha evacuate have been advised to hunker down as that still dangerous storm swirls throughout the state. Right now, millions of residents there are still without power this morning. CBS News' Christian Benavides reports from Tampa with the latest. Hurricane Milton came roaring ashore on Florida's west coast overnight, bringing with it life-threatening winds, heavy rains, and dangerous storm surge. I hear a lot of wind outside. Bradenton resident Angie Samaro and her family are riding out the storm at Holt, located outside of the evacuation zone. We knew that we wanted to stay. Closer to the Gulf Coast in Newport Ritchie, residents and their pets took shelter in this middle school gym. We take this stuff serious. And we live in a flood zone. In the days leading up to the storm, millions were urged to evacuate. Last night, Florida's governor said it's too late for those who did not heed those earlier warnings. It's too dangerous to evacuate safely. Uh, so you have to shelter in place and just hunker down. Already, there are reports of deaths, injuries, and extensive property damage after tornadoes swept through parts of the state ahead of Milton's oh. arrival. In Tampa, the storm struck as residents were still cleaning up from Helene, dumping three to five inches of rain an hour. We've got your back. Yesterday, President Joe Biden said the federal government has millions of meals, water, and thousands of personnel on the ground for response. Tropicana Field had been set up as a base for National Guard and emergency workers earlier this week. Last night, strong winds ripped the stadium's roof to shreds. Cristian Benavides, CBS News, Tampa, Florida.